Now this is update five of the French Biointensive Organic Raised Bed Garden series for 2016. Been harvesting this every two to three days. It's still coming back like crazy. I've got this bed mostly planted. Um, it's got broccoli, kohlrabi, pak choy, and three types of kale. And then down here, it's got uh, yellow onions well, and a little bit of uh, red onion that I had left over when I planted the other onion. Um, I'm thinking about putting a couple lines of turnips in here maybe in this part that isn't planted. Uh, we've got some uh, arches because the chickens keep managing to find a way through the fence and they dug up half of the stuff that I had planted. So I had to, and they destroyed about six of the plants. So um, we're going to cover this with some kind of poultry netting or something. This bed still needs to get filled. Over here, I've got one radish sprout one radish sprout coming up in this whole line. Um, it wasn't even there yesterday. It's the first I've seen anything. Um, it's only been a week since I planted um, the carrots and the parsnips in here, so nothing. And also the peas, nothing's coming up for the peas yet either. Uh, all of the onions that I planted seem like they are doing well. And then over here, um, I've got onions and shallots and let's see, I think, I think the ones on that side are the red onions and I think the ones on this side are yellow onions. Um, can't remember. I think I planted these all after the last update. Um, but I've got echinacea, yarrow. Calendula is going to go down in the middle. Uh, I've got this uh, flower and then uh, more calendula is going to go over here. And I found some blood vein sorrel. And so I planted that. And then the uh, other sorrel is recovering pretty well from being dug up and divided. The herbs are doing pretty well. The chickens got in here and dug up the thyme and they messed with the cilantro. Um, so mad at them. Um, this is really starting to come to life again. Uh, this is the one that I still don't know if it's hyssop or lavender. Man, they dug on this too. This has just happened earlier today, so I was able to salvage a lot of it, but I'm really, really annoyed with them. Um, over here, I've got bunching onions, and then um, the strawberries are starting to come back from the ones that didn't do so well from the transplant. Um, Barton's starting to put out little new fresh growth. So these are ever bearing, so they have time. They'll still produce. And I've got some flowers starting on some of them. And then over here, I'm protecting the bulk of the lettuce with just some curved wire over it. Um, it's doing really well. Uh, I think in another week, I might even be able to start taking off one leaf per plant. So <laughs> that won't be much, but it's something the garlic is starting to put up scapes. Uh, it's just like three or four of them so far. And those volunteer peas, I keep trying to train them over here. They're doing okay. They've got blossoms. Both of them have blossoms on them now. Uh, 
Looks like the comfrey is trying to put out flowers. And over here, my mom planted some lettuce this morning. And of course, that's the first place the chickens went. And so they kind of decimated it a little bit. Um, she put in her tomato plant. It's way too early, but she wanted to, so she did. Um, where are these? Oh, Cosmos. She got some Cosmos and put those in. And then uh, everything else was here last week, so that's the update for this garden for the week.